All right, guys, I'm here with John, Total Biscuit. Now, John, how did you get started with this whole like YouTube celebrity gamer thing? Well, it, it really came down to what I'd done previously, which is a lot of game podcasting. Started doing that in 2005 for World of Warcraft Radio, did a ton of talk shows about World of Warcraft, and in the process was sort of dipping into YouTube every now and again with video. Funnily enough, at the time, I didn't believe video was viable. It's like, no one wants to watch this stuff, you kidding me? That and the fact that the technology at the time was just absolutely awful, so it's not like we could produce high quality content, but it became rapidly apparent that this was going to be the way that everything was going to be going. So. I kind of fell into it in 2010 with Cataclysm beta coverage for World of Warcraft, which got really popular really quickly. Uh, and I was then able to join a network and monetize. And once the Cataclysm beta started coming to an end, I was thinking about the ways to best transition out of it. And I was able to do that via the sort of approach towards analytical commentary and critique on a first impressions basis. And also commentary and punditry of uh, current gaming news, which seemed to work out pretty well. So where did you get your name from, John? Uh, it was stolen from a Terry Pratchett novel. It's called uh, Carpe Jugulum. It's a one-off reference. Most people don't get it because it actually literally means nothing whatsoever. It, it was a, some, I believe, a Clatchian naming ceremony. The first few words that were heard after midnight or whatever became the name of the baby, and one of them was Total Biscuit. So I, I just stole that because it sounded cool. And so I stuck with that. If I were to give any advice for people when it comes to actually building a subscriber account, it's just consistency all the time. It's just make your channel indispensable in people's lives, and that's how they will stick around. That's why they'll hit the subscribe button, because it's inconvenient for them not to. And what advice can you give someone who's really who's trying to do this really hard, but they're just not getting the views and the hits? It's really hard to break through. Like there is no magic formula for it. A lot of people try to jump on a bandwagon, like say they'll do a lot of Minecraft, they'll do a lot of Happy Wheels or whatever that actually brings. They see it bringing in a ton of views for people like Yogscast and Toby Turner and PewDiePie, and they think this is the way to do it, and it's not. Uh, you can't really just ape them and expect that to be successful. You do have to carve a niche and then prove to people that this is a good idea. And honestly, if you want to get big, you've got to get ahead of the curve. It, there's no point following around the big channels doing exactly what they're doing because you do it... I, you, maybe you don't do it worse, but you don't have the established personality that they do. And YouTube is all about cult of personality. It's not necessarily about quality of content. Sadly, you know, that's just the way that it is. So you've got to try and get ahead of the curve somehow and figure out what exactly the next big thing is going to be. And then you be the originator of that bandwagon. You drive that bandwagon rather than jumping on it and expecting success. And do you have to like tunnel yourself to one specific genre of game? You can. Uh, you want to be careful not to be too specific. If you do nothing but Minecraft and then you try and do something else, people will hate you because they came to your channel for Minecraft and you're not giving them Minecraft anymore. So that you, but if you are too general, then who do you attract? Yep. It's like, oh, I just do game reviews. Yeah, everyone does game reviews. That's no big deal. So you've got to tailor it in some way. You've got to think about what you want your demographic to be, but you can't go too general but and you can't go too specific if you want to be long-term successful. If you want a six-month spurt of popularity, fine. Just do nothing but Minecraft and do something cool. But then when you try and transition out of it and your subscriber base tears you apart for it, just don't be surprised. And what would be, what would you say personally the hardest thing was for you breaking into this industry? I think it's just a case of getting people to care about your opinion because if they don't, then literally nobody will watch you. So unless you want to be the class clown, you want, do you want to be a jester on YouTube? Do you want to be the, the motley fool? Then fine, you know, you can do silly stuff, but if you want people to take you seriously and actually value your opinion, then you've really got to convince them of that. And that's a, lo that's a lot of work because everyone on the internet has an opinion. Most of them suck. Mine sucks sometimes. I've got to convince people that my opinion doesn't suck. So that's probably the biggest challenge, I think.